What's going on people of the internet? How's it going today? So today I'm going to be working on my 21 Chieftain Limited. What I want to do today is I want to replace the seat. So I have about 2600 kilometers on this seat now and this bike. I bought it brand new last summer, July 21, 2021. After about 45 minutes I would be getting, my butt would start getting sore and getting numb and starting to hurt. So I want to put a lot more kilometers on this this year and I want to go on a trip down to Minnesota, hopefully at St. Paul's, Minnesota, to go watch King of the Baggers, go see the new dealership that's open there now, took over for Bison. And then I also want to meet some of the Indian ambassadors out there. What we're going to do today is we are going to change the seat out for Salomon Road Sofa LS heated with a backrest. So in order to do that, what you need to do is you got your two side panels, one on this side, one on this side of course, so you know to pop these off. Three bolts, so you have one bolt right here, one on the other side, the exact same spot, plus your one at the back. And those are all the six millimeter hex screws. So. I already did some of this already because it's the internet and nobody has the, the attention span to wait and watch the whole thing. So, so to get the seat off after you take off the bolts, what you're going to do is you're just going to lift up on the back slightly and just wiggle her out until she comes out. That's it. Now, where I live, new motorcycle riders are not allowed to have passengers for two years. Nobody's going to be using this. With the new seat, I'm going to be removing this anyways. Uh, eventually, I want to get a sissy bar and I want to get, well, either a sissy bar or tour pack. This is going gonzos. Now, the other thing is, too, is I believe right here is my powered switch for when I turn it on and off. So that's what I want to hook my heated seats up to. I don't want to go directly to the battery because with my luck, some Yahoo will come and push the buttons and kill my battery or I might forget to turn it off or bump it or whatever the case might be and I won't be a happy camper afterwards. So I'm gonna test this, make sure that this is live when the ignition is turned on and that the power goes off when it's turned off. That will be my first step. Once I know that for sure, we will continue from there. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna test this plug to make sure that there is no power to it right now. So gray is positive, black is negative, of course. Nothing there. Turn the power on. We have power. And then when you turn it off again, so that's perfect, that's switchable power. And that's what I wanted. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this tape off a little bit and I'm going to probably take off this connector and I'll put on my own connectors and then I will basically wire up the two heated seats into one plug and then that will go into here and hopefully that shouldn't overload the fuse. I can't see it overloading it but who knows, maybe it might. So what I'm doing guys is I'm just basically peeling back the tape on here that they use and so I get enough to cut and strip because I don't want to cut it right at the plug. I want to be able to, if need be, put it back to factory afterwards. So um, I want to strip back a little bit just so that I can make a, a connection a little bit further back. The guy that I used to work with said that all the time. He's like, well, what's the worst that can happen if you do something? Well, this one here, I mean, I guess, the worst thing that could happen would be I jab myself, or I uh, cut a wire, or I uh, yeah. zap something. So what I'm going to do is I've got these connectors that I bought. This side will be connected here instead of this guy. So you'll have this one here, and this will be connected. I'll have both heaters connected to this. So that way they can just plug in together, tuck in there, and seat slides on, and life's good. Well, hoping life's good. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, do not try this at home unless you're a professional. Oh, FYI, if you do this yourself and you mess something up on your bike, don't call me. 
or text me or email me or message me or anything like that. This is do at your own doing. Do at your own doing. <laughs> I'm not very educated, so. <laughs> no return. <laughs> okay. So what I'm also gonna do is for the connectors, I am gonna put some heat shrink on here too, just to seal it back up. Hit the hole. That's what she said. Yes, I'm kind of like this all the time. That's my kids. They get pretty embarrassed around this one. On here, since the white is power, I'm doing the, the standard red as power. And then black to black, of course. Should really need to tell you that, but if I do, something's wrong. Question is now, does it work? Let's find out. As you see, no power. And we've got power again. Yay, I didn't blow anything up. So what I'm gonna do next is I am going to shrink this shrink wrap on it, seal these guys up. Then what I'll do is I will do the seats next. So Okay, so once you are done the wiring here and then the wiring on the seat, you got two bolts, one right here and one on this side, which is currently under a plug of mine. Uh, it is an eight mil screw that you need to, to take out. And anytime in any of my videos, if you ever hear my voice crackle and high pitch scream and all that stuff, I'm a 45 year old just hitting puberty. <laughs> anyway, so next up what we're gonna do is we are going to get the seat on here. I just gotta see roughly where the wiring can go. And then I think what I'm gonna do is try to put the majority of the wiring right here, zip it up, keep it nice and clean so it doesn't affect the shock at all. And go from there, kind of like what I did with the custom dynamic stuff. So anyways, that's gonna be the next step. So I'm also gonna be including pictures of stuff that I didn't record, like how the wiring looks on the seat itself. Definitely, definitely a lot easier if you have two people. So there is a crap ton of wiring in here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna zip some of it up, probably over on this side right here, which should in turn put it right here to keep it nice and neat and tidy and okay so now what we're gonna do is since i got it all wired up got it kind of kind of neat uh just for here right now just so that if i flip it over i can get it tucked under and that uh we're gonna check before we do anything else we're gonna basically make sure everything powers on so we got power light on low green is slow Red is high. Same thing, low, high. Beautiful, we got power here. Tidy it up down here so that we can get it on. So one thing I forgot before we even try to do it on, we've got to switch this plate around. So uh, there's two bolts for it. Yeah, so these two back ones here are four millimeter hex bolt. So all you're gonna do is just basically take the two screws out Grab the plate, because it gets shipped with it down like that so it doesn't bend or cut anything. Just basically pick it straight up, turn it around, and put it back down. Because it won't fit that way, it can only go one way. For good measures, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a little bit of blue lock tape. And one thing I really like that Salomon did is they included a a rubber washer for to go on the paint it makes me happy. What Indian had is a little plastic thing there. It's horrible what they, so what they included is this little rubber washer, which is awesome. Cause like I said, Indian with their nice wisdom, it was just a little plastic thing that sat on here. And that's, that's horrible. Like it should have been something like this right from the get go. I guess here comes the, fun part of trying to yeah, get everything nice and fitted tight. I live in a blue house with a blue window. Blue is the color. My name is my I don't know that part, but you know what? Time out. I'm gonna stop the video, look at this. Okay, we're back. This was a hassle to get all the wiring down and get the seat in. It is a very, very tight fit to get this to slide forward and lock in tight. And then the other issue that I had was 
bringing this back a bit to get the hole to line up. Um, there's the, the, the rubber piece right there. That's great that they added. So what I got is the blue stitching to match my blue bike. So you get the backrest is blue. So far, looks like great quality. Um, I sat on it once, it is very stiff. And I'm gonna have to keep adjusting that backrest till I get to where I want it. Um, but it definitely lifts you up from the factory seat. I'm gonna say probably three quarters of an inch to an inch, because uh, I was almost heels down before and now I'm on my tippy toes. So it, uh, it definitely lifts you up. So anyways, that's this video guys. Take care and hope you liked it. Thanks.